opening day festivities wrapping up. And we'll be back to get this season started right after this. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the Cincinnati Reds. John Shambi and Chris Singleton on the call. All right, partner, ready to go. Always a pleasure to get things started with you on opening day. Well, Happy New Year, buddy. And anyone that's involved in baseball, even though it's not January 1st, this is the start of a new year. Every team has playoff hopes. I love this time of the year. I'm excited to get things Ladies going. And gentlemen, your Cincinnati Red. So up next, Steve Rogers. He's a guy who does it all. Not shortstop. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Swing and a base hit. Green headed for the plate. He'll score and they've tied it. It's 1-1. One, one. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so... That's flexing your muscles a little bit. Runner. Tag, and he's out at first. Couldn't get back to the bag. And welcome back. And now the big-time power threat, Steve Rogers. For the Red. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. Perez, back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. pitch and that's outside it's good speed at the top of the order here you want to get it on see if you can get a stolen base maybe get around the bases and pick up a run swung up belted deep that one went back there and that one's gonna land not so much here but here his first homer of the year and they add to their lead it's 4-1 is power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here steve rogers getting ready to hit he's already homered in this game he is quite an athlete i mean you look around the other sports basketball football you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. A towering home run. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 5-1.
love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. And digging in for San Francisco, Heston Kerstad. Now batting the right fielder, Heston. They all pitch. Kerstad. Out to short, Rogers collects, whips it across, and there's two down. Now batting, the center fielder, George Valera. Steve Rogers will hit next. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. First offering misses the mark. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and put. Oh, oh this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one becomes property of the beast. He blasts one out to center. Third home run of the season. It's 6-2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. A three-homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Runners on the corners with one gone. This now is Bryson Stott. Good contact guy, good Bryson. defender. Stop. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Quickly to second for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Red Six and the Giants three. Man at first with one gone. Here's the left fielder, Andrew Vaughn. Now batting, left fielder, Andrew Vaughn. And the pitch. Ground ball right side, could be two. Tags the runner, and that's his double play to end it. What a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shabby saying so long.